would you like that value sized? It wasn't too long ago when you ordered a meal at a fast food restaurant the cashier was trained to ask, would you like to biggie size that? We all knew what that meant. Would you like a larger quantity of food to fill your ever-expanding waistline for a few cents more? We didn't care that we were hardening our arteries and increasing our blood pressure. We were lost in the delicious taste of secretly seasoned fried chicken and over-salted french fries. Because of the FDA, you won't hear those words today though since Americans, and the government, have started to become more health conscious the fast food chains have changed their programming strategies. Now when you walk into a chain restaurant you'll hear, would you like to value size that? Our minds here, would you like more value added to your meal for a few cents more? Sounds much better, doesn't it? Who wouldn't want more value added to their meal? I know I would. The more valuable it has then the better it must be. The same goes for a business, online or offline. I in the days of small towns and mom and pop stores, a business was vibrant or destitute based upon the value the owner provided their customers. Customers enjoyed walking in a business where the cashier would greet them by their first name with a good morning or good afternoon. It made the customer feel warm, welcomed, and appreciated. When big, box stores started popping up, the value of being treated with individual attention wasn't regarded as much as a lower-priced item. Family-owned businesses start to wane and eventually drop off the local town map. After a few years, sales in the big, box stores started to wane as well and CEOs started to wonder why. They had the lowest prices in town. Why would their business profits decrease? You guessed ITT, their employees were giving their customers zero value. The result was their customers were leaving their low-priced, overstocked stores and returning to the mom-and-pop businesses they shopped in the past to be treated like a valued customer. It didn't take long for the CEOs to notice this and rectify the situation. Radio, newspaper, magazine and television ads were created, showing their employees working one-on-one -on -one with customers who needed experienced advice on whatever dilemma the customer needed assistance solving. Next time you see a Lowe's commercial pay attention, you'll notice the customers calling the employee by their first name and maybe a cool nickname. The employee will also refer to the customer by their first names. A rapport has been built between the customer and employee, the problem has been dissolved and everyone is all smiles. To add value to an online or internet business, you need to promote yourself virtually as an expert in your field and market your name so it is synonymous with value. Promoting yourself is easy to do, it just takes time to do it, create a blog post. You can do this by going to a blog website such as http colon slash slash www.blogger.com or any other free blog website. You can create your own blog site, but it's better to put your name and your message out there as fast as possible instead of going through all the trouble of designing a website and then begin blogging. It's easier to subscribe to a blog site and disguise it using a domain you're purchased on GoDaddy or MyQuick Leads. Add your blog to your business card or link it to your social media webpage to spread the word. You can comment on forum pages that pertain to your business. The more times you post your advice on a forum page, the more you can put your name, your business, and your personality on the internet. Another free idea to promote yourself is writing articles. Ezine Articles is free and easy to use. You can take your blog posts, add more detail and value to it and repost at their website as an article. Write about experiences you have had with helping customers who have asked you for your opinion or advice and the steps you took to resolve the issue. The more times you post on your blog, forums, and articles, the more online users will see the value you have to offer and in return refer you to their online friends. And offline friends. As value is continuously added to your online name, more and more users will see you as an expert, someone who cares about their peace of mind, instead of a salesman out to get their money. Internet buzz will build and soon your online business will see the electric fruits of your labor. Thank you for taking the time to read this article. If you found it helpful and are interested in starting an online business of your own, you can work directly with myself by visiting http colon slash slash www.workwithscotttg.com today. Until next time, Scott Gustafson eBusiness Expert.